right hello 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 welcome back everybody welcome if it's your first time so happy to see you hope everybody had a good holiday let's jump into this game shall we okay let me know if my music is too loud do not want to get in trouble for my music. But we're gonna jump into cast today. Sometimes I like to hear a little bit of music. All right, so I recently acquired a new house for my Sims. Show you this really quickly. The house was created by none other than Hey Harry. Maybe you all know Harry, of course you do. And if you don't, you better get acquainted because she is a very good Sims content creator. She makes content and custom content. So if you're looking for a new house, this is her latest build. Just give you a little quick peek here, but then as soon as we have our Sim created, we are gonna jump in so I can give you a tour. This is her latest creation using all of her own custom content. I believe she also used custom content by Felix. So if you are familiar with Felix, and I just want to mention all of their content is free. Yes, yes, yes. After a certain amount of time, EA has repeatedly said that they are supposed content creators are supposed to make their content free to everyone and lucky for us hey harry and uh felix they follow the rules so sometimes the content is not available at the time that you're looking for it if you give it a few months it does become available and everything in this house is available currently I believe so go check it out all right we're gonna look at that after we do what we're here for we are here to update my sim self um, this is she I love her she's very cute I've been working on her for many many years naturally she looks better than me <laughs> But you know, we do uh, we do like to make our sim selves look pretty fly. So forgive me if my sim doesn't look exactly like I do at this present moment in time. But she is supposed to be my sim self. What we're gonna do today is I wanna jump in and create another version of her only because I got a couple of pieces of custom content let me jump in here. I got a couple of pieces of cups of content and I want to apply it to her. And I also want to mess around with her traits just a tiny bit. And I want to look at the outfits that I've added because I might add some more, might delete some, we'll have to see. And as you can see from the title, we are prepping my sim cell for the new Sims 4 for Rent Pack that's coming out next month, guys. Next month, just that quick. I'm sure I will be tweaking her again as soon as the pack comes out because it is an expansion pack. So I thoroughly expect to have uh, new clothing, new traits, new aspirations. And I'm going to want to enjoy all of that. So here she is, but we're going to... Jump in the cast with her. Let's do this little testy cheat here. Testing cheats. Ooh, not the capital. Not the capital letters. Testing cheats on cast.full. Full edit mode. And then you shift left click. And you go into cast, and that's all you have to do. Everybody probably already knows that, but I like to say it out loud just in case you're new or in case you maybe forgot it. 
Or if you just like to hear me say it, there you go. That's how you do it. Okay. Again, let me know if my music is too loud. I will turn it down. I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> All right, so this is my girl. I think she's adorable. I can say that because it's just digital pics. <laughs> it's a bunch of dots, a bunch of pixels put together. Um, but we are going to add a little bit of custom content. And the first thing I'm going to add is under tattoos. All right. So, first things first, we have, double check I'm in the right place. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, so first thing is we're going to add this uh, belly. Have a belly button. It can either be this one or this one. And I don't have a favorite. Neither one of these looks like my my real belly button. <laughs> but I do like the way it looks on the character. I don't know. I don't know why. I just do. I think I'm going to go with this one. Okay. I don't know why. It kind of looks like an upside down happy face, doesn't it? But I don't know, the shading or shadowing to me looks better on this one. So we'll just put that one. The next tattoo, hold on ma'am, I need to still be in tattoos. All right, the next tattoo I wanna add has to do with the face. So I'm gonna go back up here because I do have these signifiers to let you know what category you were in. So this is under left leg is fine because I don't plan to use these cheekbones that I added so we're good I'm gonna go up here and do I don't know what this is what is this oh it's the tattoo okay so it's like a little birthmark of a heart and you know that's cute but I don't think that's something I want to add I do however wish to add some realistic cleavage so I have this one which is something I've had for years we do have a new one though that I recently added and we have a choice of this one okay I think I'm more the second one yeah either this one or this one because that one's so much darker Let's see okay so either this one or this one and i think i'm gonna go with this one that's pretty realistic for me okay so now that we have that oh oh oh, oh. so quickly so quickly let's go back to tattoos because there's one more and this one is on the face so we are going to add Dang it, I keep going too closely. Let's try this again. All right, I'm gonna get it this time, guys. Okay, like I was saying, it's for the face. So, I'm gonna go up here. And we are gonna put in this one. What this one does is puts a shadow on the nose, which seems quite silly to do, but I don't know why in game mode it looks so realistic to me. The hardest part is figuring out how dark you want it, because see, it leaves a shadow on the neck as well, which is a little strange. I know, I agree, but I do enjoy having this shadow on her nose. I just have to figure out which one is best. So that one is a little more toned down. And that's even less of a shadow. 
But if we go too low, you don't even know it's there. See what I mean? You can't even tell it's there, right? This is without it, and this is with it. And it's slightly noticeable without it, with it. So I'm going to make it just a slight bit darker. There we go. If I go darker, you kind of lose the definition of her nostril. <laughs> Not going to lie. So I'm going to go back to this one and we'll leave it there. How does that look? I think it looks pretty good. I do wish it didn't affect the nostril because now the other side is a little darker. But it, for some reason, to me, just makes her nose realistic with the shading. So we're going to try that and we'll see how that works in the game. So as far as her outfits go, we have this for every day. Oh, look at that cleavage, girl. You go, girl. Okay. This is her business professional business dinner date, dinner date, you know. These are her fitness outfits. I just love the shading on the nose. It just looks so realistic to me. This is her party outfit. You know, hanging out with the girls on a Saturday. Her swimwear because we got the new kit. I got to do a full turnaround because I just got to make sure nothing wrong is happening back here. Okay, we're still good. We're good. <laughs> then we have hot weather. Okay. And then we have cold weather. Which this is my favorite outfit that came with this kit. As much as I hate the kits, I also love the kits. So I don't know how everybody else feels. Let me know in the comments if you enjoy any of the kits or absolutely none of them. Let me know. All right, so let's check out the additional everyday outfits. I did my best. My favorite thing of all time for custom content is shoes. Even though it's funny because I'm not a huge shoe person in real life, but for my sim, oh my gosh, I have to get every new pair that comes out. And I always get the shoes from only one creator, as you can see who that is. I don't know if you pronounce it G-U-S. I think it is, especially since they have a line under the U, like it's a hard U sound. So maybe it's G-U-S, I'm not sure. But I love their shoes. And these shoes are adorable. This is her other everyday. And then we have, of course, some Sentate because you must. And this is, you know, Maybe you got to run to the grocery store, run and get a pair of shoes, not sure. But this is her other everyday outfit. And I'm loving the custom content hairs. I tell you what, I would not be playing this game if we did not have custom content creators out there. That is what has kept The Sims 4 alive. We all know it. They know it. EA knows it. Everybody knows it. All right, so again, this is her professional businesswoman, okay? Her businesswoman attire, and this is when she's going out really to party, okay? Then we have our athletic wear. This is when you don't mind getting a little sweaty. And this is her second choice outfit. I personally hate the way these shorts are so high up. There is no way I could wear these shorts. <laughs> but it looks cute on her, so we're just going to go with it. Then for her sleepwear, this is your girl right here. Yep, every day, all day. Sometimes twice a day. Okay. 
And then we're just gonna jump through some shower wear, some after shower. And then this is when, you know, you might have been having a little fun. I don't know. It's her personal life. Let's not ask questions. <laughs> then we have our party wear. I really love this outfit. It's just cute. Hanging out with the girls, maybe going dancing, maybe getting some drinks. Then we have these. I thought I put tights on her. I might have to find another pair of tights. I might have gotten rid of some custom content. I thought she had some tights on, so I might add some tights. But this is super cute. I love boots. So, yes, yes. Gotta have the boots. And then she has a camera. You can barely see it there, but um, I like my Sims uh, to take pictures. And so that is why she has her little camera because this might be her work outfit. We'll come back and give some tights because you know, you, you might be down in some awkward positions to get the right shot. And we have to have some tights on for that, honey. Okay, so because we got the new swimwear outfits, I thought it would be nice to throw her in a nice top and bottom. I do not understand why EA did not give us this bathing suit without the shirt. Um, while I love it and would more than likely wear it with the shirt, it should have been an option to have it with and without this shirt. I'm just saying, EA, come on now, you're getting paid for this. You're getting paid for this. This is her second outfit, which as you can see is the same outfit, but with sunglasses and some cute shoes. And the reason for this is because when I take my girl to Sulani and she is at the bar, yeah, this is what she will be rocking, okay? Then we have this one, which every girl just, you know, you don't want to be spoken to or hit on all the time. This is her outfit where she's like, you know what? I was not trying to attract the attention. I just want to get in the water. But sometimes you want a little bit of fun. So that's what this one's for. Then we have our hot weather wear. This is just cute. This is your girl every day, every day. This is when she's looking a little more stylish. Maybe going shopping. Again, love the shoes. Very, very cute. Okay, got her little side pocket for her change, her credit card. Yeah, no. And then this is another hot weather wear, just in case she might be out. Maybe it's hot when she went out to the club. You never know. You got to dress. Be prepared. So this is her cute little outfit for when it's hot. And then we go to winter wear again. This is the best outfit I thought that came with the kit. But we have a couple of other outfits as well. Super cute. You can see her jumping out of the car at the curb to run in, grab a couple of bunions and jump back in the car. This one is a little more dressy to me. I know she looks like she might be cold, but we have a heater in our car. Hello. And from the car, we're going straight into the club. So this is very cute. And then of course, you know, you gotta be comfortable, but cute. So this is, you know, nice and stylish. Me personally, I would never put on white because it would be dirty within the first five minutes. But lucky for her, she is a sim and she can get away with it and stay clean all day. <laughs> so I think this is very, very cute. So how do we feel about the shadow on the nose now? Are we, are we liking it? Are we not liking it? Have we gotten accustomed to the shadow? I think it looks very realistic. All right, we're going to back her up just a little here. Go back to our original wear. And we're going to fix the party wear because like I said, I think she needs some tights, guys. Not going to lie. All right. 
Oh, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, maybe I can use these tights. I think she's wearing two pair though. Let's see. Yes, yeah, so she has Sentate, the second pair. I'm not sure, but we're gonna try that. And then these, EAs. So let's go to our party wear and let's try to recreate what we just saw here because let's see, I think it, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we go. There we go, there we go. Okay, so I think it's these. Oh no, it's too short. I mean, she could try it, but oh no. No. I don't know, guys. How do you feel about that? What do y'all think about that? And then we had EA's tights. Where are they? We had EA's stockings for the color. Here we go. There we go. That looks good, but I don't know about this uh, top part. I don't know. How do you guys feel? Let me know. You know what? We'll go ahead and add it for now because it's better than nothing. See this? Nah, girl. You can't bend over. You can't bend over. So we'll put these on and put Sente's tights on top. All right. We're going to have to wear that for now. I think the tights I had that were custom content didn't have the, uh, the, I think this is like a silicone that sticks to you so your tights don't go down. <sighs> I wish this top was just a tiny bit longer so you didn't see that, but this is where we are, so this is what we're doing. All right, let's get out of this category. Okay, she's so cute. Okay, and then for every day, we're gonna go back over here. Very cute. Now, the only thing, only other thing I would like to do is maybe add some new hairstyles. I think for the most part, she wears the exact same hairdo, like all day, every day. And I don't know if I'm here for that. That one is a change. So maybe we might add something at the end. I do want to leave some categories open because like I said, when we get the new expansion pack, um, I think we're going to get new clothing and I'm going to want to be able to add uh, the new outfits without too much trouble. So uh, let's go to party wear. We have this one and this one. Okay, let's go here and try a new outfit, but let's change the hair first. So as you can see, her style is with this particular wig. Yes, I shall call it a wig because my hair is not this long. That's for sure. Let's see, we can go with this. which is very cute. Or we can go with this, which is also very cute. But I think this wig is cutest. I have a ton of hair in here. Unfortunately, I have a habit of using the same ones over and over because I end up with favorites, such as this one. I love this one. <laughs> But I can only wear this with certain outfits and have confidence that it looks appropriate for the outfit. So I'm going to go back to this one. And let's pick her a, another outfit to go out partying with. We have so many clothes in the game. Sometimes I use custom content. And sometimes... I try to match up something that's already in the game because we have so much. And you would be shocked with what you could do with what's already in the game. Now I say that and I hope I don't, uh, you know, let myself down because I have no idea what I'm about to put together. But let's try something, shall we? Let's see. 
Hmm. What would I put with this top? Because that's a cute top, guys. That is a super cute top. That is not a good ax uh, top to accent. Or should I say, that is not a good skirt to accent with that top. Let's try a different one. Uh, I don't think I would step out of the house in that skirt. And I tend to dress my sim either in a fashion that I would wear myself or in a fashion that I wish I had the courage to wear myself. <laughs> so we kind of class up a couple outfits. That's what I like to say. Let's see. I thought, I thought this wasn't too bad. That's not too bad. But because she already wore those shorts, I kind of want to pick something different. Um, let's see. Let's see what we have. Like I said, we have so many things in this game now. It's not bad. I don't hate it. Nah. Nah. Nah, it actually looked better in the black. Um, this is under party wear, so we might want to pick something else. Let's see what we have. Oh no, 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 that's not going to do. That's kind of cute. It depends on what type of party it is that you're going to. That really makes all the difference. Oh, that's cute too. Let's see. Let's try and change the shoes. Again, I have a habit of going to custom content shoes. But sometimes, sometimes you might find a pair that EA gave us. That is, if I don't find a custom pair first. Something happened with her ankle a little bit. I don't know what's going on with that particular shoe. Are we wearing tights? Because her ankles look pretty dark. No, I don't think we're wearing tights. Let's see. Got some slides. These are cute. If this was her hot weather outfit, I would think this would be enough. But girl, you're going to a party. We're going to have to dress this up a little bit. Just a little bit. Wife Mom Simmer, hello. Welcome to the stream. So happy to see you. Guys, I have been gone for a minute. I hope everybody had a good holiday. Oh, those are cute. I hope everybody had a good holiday. Let's see, these are cute. Do we have these in white? Let's see. Yes, we do. So happy you're back. I'm happy to be back. You know what? It is something when you go out of town because while I enjoyed myself so much, I also couldn't wait to get back home. <laughs> is that fair to say? Like I enjoy every moment with my family, but sleeping in hotels and traveling and my husband's driving god bless him he got us home safely always happy when that happens but there are so many crazy drivers out there that just do not pay attention to the law or physics for that matter <laughs> i was so happy to be out of the car and be back home safe <laughs> oh gosh very fair to say right very fair to say how about these shoes, guys? These are adorable. I like these. We're going to keep this for another party outfit because you never know when you'll get called to go to a party. Is everybody ready for the new expansion pack? Is, has everybody started building? Making your townhouses, making your apartments, making your renters? Have you made your 
your landlords. Are you going to be the landlord yourself? Are you going to be the tenant? Everybody tell me what you've got planned. So for me, I think I want to be both the tenant and I want to be the landlord. So I don't know which one I'm going to play first. Her shoes are cute. Aren't they cute? I wish I could zoom in. I, I really hate that EA does not let you zoom in to the feet. I mean, you got a whole section for shoes and no one thought to zoom in to the shoes when you picked a pair of shoes. Hello, EA. What are y'all doing? Um, have you decided on who you're going to play? I think my girl is going to be a landlord. Now, what kind of landlord, you ask? Is she a good landlord, a bad landlord? I don't know yet. If you saw her in this outfit coming to get your check, would you pay on time? <laughs> oh, that makes me laugh. Would you pay your rent on time if she was picking up the check in this outfit or would you be late? <laughs> I don't know. Does she look like she is all business? Like she's serious about that paycheck? <laughs> I'm not sure. Let me see. We have for her every day. We wouldn't pick up the check in this outfit, girl. They're not taking you seriously in this outfit. Not at all. No one's paying their rent on time in this outfit. <laughs> but maybe if she showed up in this, I think you would pay your rent on time. Because she looks like she would kick you out like before the door closed, your stuff would be on the curb. So maybe this would be her business outfit on on, uh, on rent day. <laughs> she looks very, very serious right here in this outfit, I must say. And she looks like she would not hesitate to throw you out. <laughs> so I'm not sure. But um, we'll have to see what kind of landlord she's going to be. I believe we have new aspirations coming. I believe we have new aspirations coming. And I just don't know what they all are. If anybody already has that information, please let me know. Because I need to get my girl ready. You know, because in this outfit... She clearly is going to be pay your rent. Be better have my money kind of attitude, kind of vibes. That's what I'm feeling with this outfit. So, but yes, right now she wants to be fabulously wealthy. Don't we all? <laughs> uh, she is creative. I like to give my Sims this just in case they get low on money because I can make her go paint something and she might actually produce something worthwhile. And then I put a little real life in here and made her a foodie. It's kind of weird for me to say I'm a foodie because I'm kind of, I'm kind of in and kind of out of being a foodie sometimes. It depends on well, first of all, service. Secondly, if I if you have a nice restaurant and a nice menu, I might want to try everything on the menu. I think that makes me a foodie, right? But then there are some restaurants where I'm like, um, everything looks suspect and I'm going to stick to what I know is good, <laughs> which then makes me feel like I'm not a foodie. So I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm an actual foodie. Um, yeah. Let's see. Wife Mom Simmer says, I'm looking forward to the expansion. Yes, girl. But I didn't prepare anything. Oh, you got time. You got time. I think I'm just going to hop in game and play. Yes. Landlords or tenants, I don't know yet. It is going to be hard to decide. To me, I think I want to play as both, but we all know we can't be both at the same time. 
So we have to decide, are we going to be a landlord or a tenant? I don't know for sure. I think, I think I might be a landlord first. What's the definition of a foodie? Someone who likes to eat? I don't know. Um, I think, a let's see what EA thinks a foodie is. Girl, not the burping. That's not ladylike at all. Let's see what a foodie is. EA says a foodie is uh, these Sims become happy and have fun when eating good food. Keyword, good food. Yeah, that's me. They become uncomfortable when eating bad food. That's me. <laughs> and can watch cooking shows for ideas. Now there, I'm kind of on the fence because I do not like to cook. I just like to eat. But my daughters, when they cook, I'm right there with them watching the shows. So I'm kind of watching the shows for ideas. They're just ideas for me to give to my kids. <laughs> oh, y'all should try and cook that. <laughs> That's what I end up saying. Oh, y'all should try and cook that. I give out cookbooks as gifts. <laughs> I don't want to cook, but I am more than happy to sample the cooking. Yes, indeed. Um, but yeah, I think I think I would be a foodie. I think so. I am very upset, however, if I get a dish at a restaurant and I don't enjoy it. And I care about the presentation as much as I care about the taste. I enjoy them equally and I, I get upset equally because I don't, I'm not one of those where I don't want my food to touch. I mean, I prefer it not, but I've gone to restaurants where they just look like this dish was supposed to be thrown away and you just piled all this crap on my plate and put it on the table and I'm not happy with you. I'm not happy with you at this moment at all. So yes, presentation matters to me. But taste also matters. And your restaurant matters to me because I've been in some restaurants where I'm like, do we really want to risk it eating here? <laughs> and then the food will come and it's so good and smells so good that I it, it, it supersedes you know, how few cars are in the parking lot or things like that. So I'll try. I won't say I'll try everything once because that would be a lie. I won't. Um, I will, however, try to convince the people at my table to try something for the first time. But it's kind of self-serving because I do it just so I can get a nibble. <laughs> And I can taste everybody's food. So to me, I think that is a foodie. I just don't want to waste my dinner option on a dish that might not be great. So <laughs> I think I might actually be a foodie as long as I can get other people to get the dish so that I can taste it. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Wife Mom Simmer says, I love food and I critique foods I eat, right? Really enjoy it. Definitely. Definitely. And if it's really, really, really good, I have a habit that if I visit your restaurant on a regular, once I find that dish that I'm just in love with, it's really hard for me to risk it and pick something different. Now that's, I have to work on that all the time. I'm not a risk taker when it comes to my food. If I know there's a dish I absolutely love, I rarely want to switch to something new. This is when it's good to invite several people with you again so that I can convince them <laughs> to get the other dish I was considering so that I could taste it. <laughs> All right, let me show you real quick her likes and dislikes. So for music, we picked R&B music, even though EA... I got a bone to pick with you about that category, but we won't bring it up today. 
Uh, for metal music, definitely dislike, dislike. Now, the reason why I pick one I like and one I don't is because I actually like my sim to have a freaking opinion. So, yes, I like to give a lot of dislikes because I think you're alive if you can disagree. And so, yes, I give her likes and dislikes. I highly suggest everyone pick a lot of likes and dislikes don't just go giving likes because the sims 4 is already designed for every sim to like everything you have to go out of your way to put some dislikes on there if you want your sim to feel alive that's my tip of the day <laughs> take it or leave it let's see we have some characteristics now i tried to pick things that are similar to me but not exactly like me so similar to me I think I'm a homebody if you are not familiar with homebody let's go check out homebody so homebody are sims that pretty much like to be well at home <laughs> they like to be they like their their alone time they're you know so I'll read it for you. I know all this stuff is old. You guys probably read this a million times. But homebodies are Sims that prefer to stay home. And guys, my happy place is on my Sims game and I can only play it on my PC. My husband offered to download this while we were out of town this week. He said, let me download this for you and put this on the laptop. And he brought his laptop. He had his game on there. And I said, no. Because I cannot play The Sims on a laptop. I have tried. I've tried several different types of laptops. I've tried with the mouse, without a mouse. No, I cannot do it. It's not enjoyable. I don't know what it is. It's not because I'm missing custom content. I bring all my custom content on my flash drive. I've tried everything. And guys, I cannot enjoy my game unless I'm at home on my PC. So I'm a homebody. I'm a homebody. Love my babies. Love to go see my babies. Will always go see my babies. But when I get home, I'm so happy to have my PC back because I get my Sims back. I do. I do. But yes, I consider myself a homebody. Let's see. Uh, they are more calm. They're more laid back. Rather than a loud party, they tend to prefer cozy nights spent cooking. Your girl don't like cooking. I did say that, right? <laughs> I do like eating, though. So keep that in mind. <laughs> uh, crafting. Do I craft? I don't really craft. Unless you consider playing The Sims crafting. Um, I don't really craft. I think I could enjoy crafting. I, I think I could enjoy crafting like those little... Uh, doll houses. So Sylvia, you know what I'm talking about. I like the doll houses. In theory, I've never built one. Anybody else built one? Let me know in the comments if you have built or put together a doll house. And you know what is the most fun about putting together a doll house? For me, I. I don't know why I've always loved small things. I think it's amazing how you could have something that looked like you shrank it with a ray gun. Does that sound crazy? Like, I like tiny dogs. I don't like big dogs. I like bonsai trees because I think it's amazing that a real tree is shrunken down. Uh, I used to have finches, those little birds, little tiny birds. I just love little things that can be shrunken. I just find it amazing. A, a freaking tree, guys. A whole, like, pine tree shrunken down. That's a bonsai. They sell those. I've had a couple. I love that. Um, and then the whole dollhouse, especially the ones that have electricity, it just feels so alive. And just like the Sims, I could just look at the details all day. Love looking at the details. Okay, so we got gaming or reading at home. That's another thing. Give me a little snack. Give me a nice cozy blanket and a good book. 
Yeah. So even though, you know, yeah, she's older, but even when I was younger, I don't think I was a partier. You know, let me know how many homebodies are out there. Let me know how many homebody sims you got in your game. Yes, definitely. Sylvia says she's been a homebody her whole life, right? So much more relaxing. Now, I'm not going to say I didn't party. I did party. Oh, your girl went out on Saturday nights. However, I still prefer to be at home. And I'm, I'm kind of the same way now that if, if I'm going to go out, I'm not, I'm not going to be in the mood until I get there. <laughs> Anybody else like that where once you get where you're going, you have a good time. But before then, you're like dreading it the whole time. Should I go? I don't really want to go. <laughs> and then when you get there, you have a drink or two, you know, loosen up. You get around the right people. You have a good laugh. You have a good time. That's how I am. For my sim, I kind of, I think I make her more outgoing than I actually am in real life. Let me know if you guys do that. When you make your sim cells, do you make them exactly like you? Do you make them exactly like you today? Do you make them a little like you today and a little like you yesterday? <laughs> or do you make them totally the opposite of you? You know, maybe maybe something you aspire to be. Let me know. Now, my girl dresses really, really nice. And to me, I'm too lazy to dress this nice. But I will go through the trouble to make my sim look very nice. Very nice. I'm more casual, but this is what I aspire to. So like if I had a magic wardrobe, like in The Sims 4, where you don't have to pay for anything, hello, EA. <laughs> hello, EA. Can you fix that for us? Um, I don't want to get into Sims 5 talk because we don't even know if Sims 5 is going to exist. This whole Renee thing has me so confused. I don't know if Sims 4 is is going to lead into Sims 5 or if Renee is going to be a whole different beast. Did I enjoy Medieval Times? I did. But did I want a Sims 5? I did. <laughs> I don't know what Renee is going to be. But if she comes and she is, you know, the next Sims 4.5 even, please. Please charge us for the outfits because I need to feel like I earned a new outfit. It's just no fun when I can make my son go to the closet and change into anything. I want to go shopping. I don't do it in real life. So let me live vicariously through my sim. You know what I mean? Anyway, let's keep it moving, shall we? So we know that she is a homebody, but sometimes she can go out, you know, have a couple of drinks with the girls. And then I gave my son optimistic. I think I'm pretty cheerful. I try to see things both realistically, but also optimistically. You know, I kind of teeter-totter back and forth. Realism does creep in. I try to keep it at bay. I want to stay positive most of the time. But a lot of the time, realist does come through. I don't think we have realist as an option. So we're going to stick with optimist. And we don't like pessimist. It's the complete opposite. And you steal my energy. <laughs> Anybody else an optimist and ever, ever sat with a pessimist? It is draining. Like they literally, they almost convert you. Like in real time. Yeah, I can feel the aura, the negativity coming from them, and I don't enjoy it. So if I can avoid that personality, I'm going to go sit on the other side of the room and have a drink over there, you know? Anyway, again, if you don't want your character to be boring, if you want your sim to have an opinion, 
make sure you give them some negatives, which is why I put her as she does not appreciate a pessimist. So if she runs into a Sim that has the jealous trait, the gloomy trait, the hates children trait, she's not going to enjoy talking to them. Okay? She's going to have an opinion about it. And I love that. This is probably the best thing EA did for Sims 4, which was add in likes and dislikes. I think the game could go deeper, could go further, but this is a good start. The game is 10 years old. I don't know how much better it's going to get. If you still hate this game enough to not play it, I don't think anything EA has been doing is going to bring anybody back to the game. That's just how I feel. If you've been one who's complained the whole time, but you still played, then we can still stay hopeful that the next few expansion packs, I say few, because I don't know where everybody's at with these new expansion, these new games coming out. But Enzoi, Paralives, and Life by You, oh, they are coming for you, EA. And they're coming out next year. Maybe not fully out, but at least early access. And I think Renee is probably going to step up their pace. Ah, Viva Land. Yes, I forgot about that one too. Thank you for telling me that one. Viva Land looked pretty good too. I saw this other game. I think it was called Hometopia, but I don't think it's a life simulator. I think literally you just build in it. It looks fantastic. I think it's on Steam. However, I'm a simmer, guys. I love the life sim part, not just the building. I do appreciate it, but it's not my favorite part. My favorite part is sitting back releasing these crazy sims into the wild and then seeing what they get up to that's what i enjoy and the sims 4 has always felt lacking because i tried it over and over again and it didn't matter what traits i gave them they just never went wild why are my sims not going wild in the sims 4 y'all remember the sims 3 when they could dance on the table anybody remember that <laughs> Do y'all remember The Sims 3 when your Sims had a bachelor party? Do you remember the bachelor parties and the bachelorette parties? Our Sims went wild. Hello? EA just sucked all of that life out of The Sims 4 and said, nah, go dress your doll and build a dollhouse. And that's about all you can enjoy in The Sims 4 to me. Unless... You have this wicked imagination or wicked whims, which I do not put into my game. But if you have this great, crazy, off the chain imagination, you can enjoy The Sims 4 like to no end. But I don't want to work that hard. <laughs> I don't want to work that hard. I want to make my character with a lot of thought. And then I want to release that character into the wild. And I want to follow that character. I don't want to control that character. I want to run into the other wild characters that I put into the game and see how they interact with each other. That's how I used to play my game. Let me see. What do you say? They've been putting shorts up lately, too. Oh, have they? Was this over vacation? Have they been putting shorts up about the new pack? I have not seen any shorts that I know of about the new pack, if that's what you're referring to. I need to get on there. Is this on Twitter? I think it's Twitter you're talking about. Oh, sorry. Is it not called Twitter? X, whatever it's called. <laughs> uh, let's see. I made my sim have deep thoughts. Okay. I'm a deep thought person kind of person sometimes. Not all the time. Not all the time. <laughs> I'm the type of person that wants to dissect a movie and my husband hates it because I, I tend to do it during the movie. Yes, I am one of those that talks through the film. I try hard not to, but it's not like I can take notes and I'm not going to remember everything. So I try to talk about it while the show is on, <laughs> which he hates, but he's grown. Okay, we've been together for a pretty long time now. He's learned to just hit pause 
let the wife say all she's going to say and then we'll resume the show. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. I, I should stop doing that. I should work on that. <laughs> but yes, I will have deep thoughts. If it's a great movie, are you one who talks about it like days after? Because I am that person. I will still be thinking about things that, that took place in a film and I will critique it or I will add deep thought to that film like up to two to three days later, sometimes longer. But yeah, so we made our girl a deep thoughts person and we made her a gossiper. Am I a gossiper in real life? Who I don't think about that. I don't know. Is anybody in here a gossiper? Let me know. I have gone to the hair salon and I do not partake, but I do love hearing all the gossip. <laughs> oh, Sylvia says, no, you are not. I'm not a gossiper. Okay, I guess I'm not a gossiper. You're right. I want to hear it, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not participating, but I do want to hear it. <laughs> I will have my ear, you know, leaned over to the side. I wouldn't mind hearing it. Um, let's see. Malicious interactions. No. There are a lot of traits in the game that I never use. And I don't know if that's why my game might be a little boring. But I never use, like, malicious interactions. So he says, I want to hear it too, right? We'll listen. I'll look like I'm reading that magazine. You might see my eyes dart across the edge of the top of the page, but <laughs> I got to see who's dishing the dirt. But I do not partake in gossip. I just, I just listen quietly. <laughs> Consider me like you just want to be the fly on the wall that hears it all, you know? Um, Let's see. Small talk. <laughs> This is a hard one for me because sometimes I'll speak to somebody. Like sometimes there's just this awkwardness if you are with someone for a while, like in a room and, and no one's speaking. I feel like I need to smile, you know, give a gesture, like a little nod or something. It does get awkward if you are around someone, whether you know them or a total stranger. It just feels really odd if you say nothing. So, But at the same time, I might say, hi, how are you? Smile, nod, be polite. I don't think I'm one of those that wants to sit down and hear your whole life story. And I don't want to sit and tell you mine. So I don't know if I'm a small talker or not. I love my, 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 my dear mother, my late mother, my goodness. We were so different because my mom could talk to anyone, would talk to anyone. And you would leave like you were a best friend. Like she had known you for years. And that's just how my mother was sweet, wonderful woman. And I am not that, <laughs> I'm nice and I want everyone to feel comfortable. Even if I feel uncomfortable smiling or saying hello, I will go out on a limb and do that if I think that's going to make the other person feel comfortable. But I don't think I'm a small talk person. And I have a horrible memory, so I really feel bad if you sat and told me a lot of things that matter to you. And it was just small talk because I am not going to remember any of it later. <laughs> so I really don't think I'm a small talk person, but I won't say I hate it. Because like I said, if you're in a room and no one's talking, it feels quite awkward. So I leave this one empty. What about you guys? Are you someone who could just strike up a conversation without any anxiety? Because I get a little bit nervous. I don't know if I'm more nervous that you won't speak or that you won't stop speaking, but. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, let's see. Jokes. I kind of want to put yes. 
And I'll tell you why. While I'm not a small talker, if you hang around me long enough and I feel comfortable, I do tell jokes. Or at least I I, I tell my family I'm funny to me. <laughs> I think I'm hilarious, by the way. <laughs> I always say that to my family. I'm hilarious. Y'all just don't get the jokes. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to leave that one off too. And the only reason is because I'm not sure what type of landlord I want her to be. But then again, if you're talking about my real life, I think I attack a lot of things with jokes. So I think if she came asking for the rent, she would probably put it in the form of a joke. I'm not a serious, like I'm serious, but I don't want to be mean. So I probably would put it in the form of a joke. You know, gotta go get my new shoes today with my check, you know. <laughs> She's serious, but... <laughs> She might put it in the form of a joke. I don't know. Um, compliments. Gosh, that's a hard one. I love giving compliments. Are you that person? I love to give a compliment. And the reason is because I love to make people happy. And I think if you give a compliment, it makes me feel good. And it makes you feel good. It's kind of a two-sided thing. So I know this is all about receiving compliments and that's not the same. Um, while I don't mind a compliment, it does. I'm never going to be like, oh, thank you, girl. I'm not that kind of person. I would just be more bashful about it, I think. Even though I appreciate it, I, I don't think I would be like, girl, I know I look good. Thank you. I'm not that kind of person at all, at all. But I will compliment all day to someone else. The only time I get upset is if I give a compliment and and that person doesn't appreciate it. Like some people get complimented so much that my compliment absolutely did nothing for them. But there might be somebody else who actually needed that compliment and I get so much joy from knowing that I brighten somebody's day. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. I wish I could click compliments and that's what it meant. Because I think I would rather give a compliment than receive one. I get more enjoyment, I think. Not, again, it's not to say that I don't like to look nice or... Oh, you know, you have a pretty perfume or something. Thank you. But, you know, I still feel a little weird. I get more joy telling someone else. Oh, I love your shoes. Your dress is pretty. You know, and usually I try to give it to someone who probably didn't expect it. Does that, does that make sense? And I'm not like lying to that person. I just feel like they needed to hear something nice today. And I hope I did that for them, you know. Anyway, let's move on. Um, for activities. This one, I wish EA would add more. They don't update a lot of their... Um, they give us a lot of different things and a lot of different packs. And then they never go back and update them enough. Like, to me, there's so much missing from, from this category hobbies and skills and so i'm just like where is it you know where's pets anybody see anything in here for pets i mean we got dog training right we got horse training why is that not in here maybe you like training cats dogs you know i mean pick a pack you could probably find it missing out of here um so, it, anyway, like I said, The Sims 4 has been out for 10 years, and I don't think that they could add anything. If you weren't already enjoying the game enough to continue playing it, 
I don't think they're going to add anything to this game that's going to bring people back who have left. I see a lot of people in YouTube, uh, on YouTube, that have been saying I'm not seeing a lot of people coming back after that horse pack got added. That they thought that was going to bring back a lot of people. But nobody even talks about the horse pack anymore. Is it just me? Are, am I missing the videos of people who are really still going strong with the horse pack? I don't, I don't see the horse pack being talked about anymore. Sylvia says she wants to hear it too. Girl, I hear you, girl. You can come by. I'll tell you all the compliments you need. I love giving compliments. Just seeing somebody else smile. That's great for me. Let's see. Um, I think I gave her writing wellness, research and debate, AKA, I love to argue about something. I think I know more than you. <laughs> so that's what this one is for me. It, I did not put that I like arguments because that's not the same thing as debating. I hope people know that because it's not the same. Arguing is not the same as research and debate. So for me, I love the whole research and debate. Because let it be on a topic that I think I know more than you. Oh, yes. We're going to go back and forth about that one. <laughs> uh, photography, I love. Piano, I love to hear it. I wish I could play it. My aunt told me just this weekend, the same thing my mother has always told me my whole life. She saw my hands, not like it's the first time that she saw them. But she goes, oh, you have such piano fingers. And basically, that just means you have very long narrow fingers and it always makes me just a little sad <laughs> because I never learned how to play the piano and I wish I had I wish I had I think it's beautiful but you know what I have looked at Alicia, I have watched Alicia Keys play and I don't know how she does it I, I am not my brain cannot like be divided and focus on more than one thing at a time. I can say that. I, I'm not insulted. I, I can't insult myself. The way that you have to use the foot when playing a piano and using your hands and she sings. Can you imagine? And she sings. Sings, plays the piano and does the, the foot pedal thing. I couldn't do it. There is no way I could do that. But I wish I could. I wish I could. So anyway, my sim, see, this is where I said, do you make your character just like you or what you aspire to be? Because right here, this is where I make my sim a pianist. Girlfriend is out there. She's going to learn that piano. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else? Uh, I put that she hates mischief. And mainly I put this because I can't stand when the sims troll on the internet and I mean that could be a whole topic but I'm not gonna get into it EA there's a couple things I wish the game didn't auto put on every character such as learning fishing learning dancing basically learning anything just because you touched it or did it for less than two seconds and EA says there you go you got a skill I hate that but anyway mischief I try to leave my character out of mischief um now this is a bit of realism over here this fitness oh y'all as nicely shaped as my character might be <laughs> i do not want to work out will i work out oh girl oh i could i would i don't very often we'll say that how about that <laughs> This is um, this is me wanting more personality to show. So I put no that she doesn't like fitness. And the reason for that is even though I force my sim to go to the gym because I like her physique, okay, I want her to hate every second that she is there. <laughs> 
And she she does. She hates every second. And I laugh really hard because I'd rather it be her than me. And and there you go with that. <laughs> also fishing again. No. I don't like fishing. This is what I like about fishing. My sister loves fishing. She and her husband love to go fishing. I have gone. No, I can't even say that. I have been there when they've been fishing. And the only thing I do, oh, I'm loving it while I'm out there because there's no fishing pole in my hand. I'm just there to chit chat, to enjoy the nature of being outside. And that wonderful drink that's in my hand. <laughs> I think going fishing is the most relaxing sport. As long as I don't have to fish. <laughs> so I put no that she doesn't like fishing. However, if in Sims 5, which I don't know if that's what it's going to be. We all know it might be a totally different game. If in Sims 5, they let us have a lawn chair, put a fishing pole, like, you know how you anchor it to the ground or to your chair, and you could just lounge and have a drink? Oh, yeah, my girl, oh, I'm giving her loves going fishing. But right now, all you could do is stand there in the Sims 4, throw a rod in, and then I'm supposed to get excited because she yanked something out of the water that's got a hook in his mouth flipping around splashing me with dirty water yeah no no my sim does not like fishing <laughs> now you might notice i did not highlight yes or no for cooking or baking i'm kind of torn between these two because while in real life i'm not crazy about cooking i do love cooking in the sims 4 only because I love seeing all the new foods. I have a ton of custom content food in the game as well. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but we're getting a new animation for cooking with this new expansion pack coming. Yes. Look at EA actually spending the money on, on animations. Who would have thunk it? But yes, we are getting a new animation. Yes. And you're going to be able to make a new food dish. I think it's, I don't know if it's sushi, guys. Yes, they roll it. That's right. They're rolling it. And while custom content creators, bless their souls, have been giving us cooking animations for years, EA is finally getting off their butts and adding a new cooking animation. So I'm going to let her figure it out on her own because one thing that's good about this is it's organic at least so while she's playing the game she can choose whether she likes cooking or not but like I said in real life I rather order it or better than that I rather my kids cook it for me <laughs> but in the game I do really really enjoy watching my sims cook um, but I'm going to, I'm going to let her figure that out on her own. Now I do put bowling because your girl loves bowling in real life. I love going bowling. I don't go often enough. Um, you know, another thing I love, I love shooting pool. Hey, EA, hello. Is this mic working? EA, did you hear that? I love shooting pool. I don't know how. We've gone 10 years and EA still has not given us billiard tables. How do we not have bowling in the game? I mean, not have pool in the game yet. If they were to add pool back into the game, I would just, I think I would jump out of my chair screaming. That's it. If we ever get pool and you see me in a live stream, you're probably going to see me lose my chair because I'm jumping for that one. But it's been 10 years. I've given up all hope that we're getting pool. I don't think we're going to get it. I think we'll get cars before we get billiards tables. You heard me. I think we will get cars before we get billiards tables. Because I don't hear people complaining that they don't have pool tables. I think I might be the only one asking for it. 
Let me know if you wanted pool tables. Let me know. All right, let's see. Where are we at now? Clothing. Okay, this is another one, guys. I'm going to give you a little tip. Do not put a lot of likes. Do not put a lot of dislikes. Let me tell you why. Your character will get mad throughout the day, off and on. If you pick something that you don't like, that you told her she didn't like, do not set yourself up for a negative reaction like that. Because there are so many different clothes and EA is not real good at putting things in the right category. So you might like a shirt or a pair of pants and you may disagree that that should fall under boho or that should fall under hipster. But EA decided to put it there. And now if you told your character not to like those categories... You're going to be mad when you see her, for no apparent reason, suddenly having a bad day. So do not pick negatives. That's my suggestion. That's my tip of the day. And also do not pick too many likes. And I'll tell you why. Because just like dislikes throughout the day, they randomly get a moodlet of being extremely happy about their outfit. It's going to interfere with whatever moodlet they should be having for whatever environment they are currently in. So you might have this girl leaning over her, forgive me, her expired spouse in the game, and all of a sudden she is extremely happy. <laughs> now you might have wanted that, but <laughs> you also maybe didn't because she's not happy about what you think. She's happy about her stupid outfit. So... Let's see. I feel, I feel up all the likes. N not anymore. You taught me that, right? Do not fill up everything with likes. No, your sim will be no. Don't don't put all likes, and don't put a lot of dislikes. If you pick like one or two categories, then this way you can feel like she just appreciated whatever new outfit you got her that fell under that category you know what i mean so like for me i put polished fashion i don't know what falls under polished fashion i would hope it's this outfit but it might not be because it's custom content number one but even if it was ea's outfit sometimes it doesn't fall under the category that you think it should this might fall under preppy you know, but the point is, is that whenever she might possibly put on a polished look, you are going to feel like, yeah, look how happy she is. She will feel more alive because she's liking that one particular outfit, you know, and it'll feel more random, but it'll also feel more important. You, you, you'll get it once you do it a few times. So I only put one. So I put polished because, you know, I like to make her look a little preppy. A little preppy every now and again. Furniture, again, I don't pick categories. I'm on the fence about this. Sometimes I want to. Most of the times I don't. And the reason I don't is because I cannot stand when the characters throughout the day, no matter if you're on a community lot, your own house lot, somebody else's house, they are going to go and complain about the furniture or they're going to like a piece of furniture. Now, would I like to see them like the furniture when you buy them something new, like in The Sims 2? I would love it, EA. Hello? Is this mic on? EA, I would love it if they had a response only when they had a new purchase. Then I feel like it would be appropriate. Oh, and at that point, yeah, I'm going to go pick the things that I like. Give her a few dislikes even. Because it's only going to affect me when I give her something new. And I miss that from Sims 2. I don't know how many of you have played Sims 2. But there was something satisfying about buying a new couch. And your character looking at it and telling you they didn't like it. <laughs> 
I bet you didn't expect me to say that, right? You thought I was going to say she loves it. No, 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 no. I loved it when my characters hated what I got them. It made me laugh so hard. <laughs> but in this game, unfortunately, EA didn't go back and play The Sims 2 and figure out how it was done right. In Sims 2, they only react when it's a new piece of furniture. In Sims 4, I don't know. All damn day, they go around the house looking at pieces of furniture as if they haven't lived in that house for 20 years and they complain or they like something. I'm like, girl, you've had that lamp for the last two years. I don't understand. But that's because EA just does not play the game because they would be annoyed themselves. But they I don't think they play the game. I'm going to call it now. I don't think they play the game. All right, what do we have left? These are custom things. I don't touch them. I don't know if you guys have, um, what is this? What is this from? Is this from, uh, oh, I couldn't even tell you which mod it is. I apologize. I've got a few mods in my game. And so you can go and pick certain things that make you attracted to certain characteristics, hair color, eye color body type that sort of thing i don't usually mess with these because it's a mod number one and um sometimes i might see a cutie every now and again my game actually throws out a cutie in town and if i told her not to like mustaches or not to like glasses or some ridiculous trait then I have potentially doomed her into not liking a particular character that shows up in my game. And so I don't like to pick these. Not all the time. If I know the storyline I'm going for, sometimes I will purposely pick them. But most of the time I leave those blank. But if you guys don't have the mod for this, you might not know what it is anyway. I want to say this is, um, oh shoot. Anybody know what mod that is? Let me know. I'm going to look at my folder real quick and see if I could tell you real quick. I feel so bad when I can't remember, but I feel even worse when I can't tell you guys and some of you want to know. So hold on. Let's see. I have Kawaii Stacy's Beauty and Fashion. I have Kawaii Stacy's Alcohol. My alcohol is what it's called. I have... Um, what is this? I have It's Potato Preteen CC. I have that in my game. I have a Deep Indigo's uh, Delinquent Teens. I have, what else? Uh, Dynamic Teen Life by a, a, a Deep Indigo. Educational Overhaul. I have... Um, Eye care, family therapy, health care redo. I think that's how you say it. And I have that preteen crush that got added. I have uh, Little Miss Sam, but only a couple of those. Don't worry about those, guys. Those are real small. Oh, okay. Here it is. This is probably what it might be. Uh, Lumpino's First Impressions. I have that one. What else do I have? Uh, that might be it, guys. I hope I named whichever one is causing that to be in the game. But if for some reason you can't find uh, what I've named and you're very interested in that mod, let me know. And I will intentionally go and find it and put the link in the description for you guys. So let me know. I do always try to let you guys uh, know where to find the custom content. All right. So anyway, this is my girl. I don't usually get into these pronouns. If you can't look at her and know she's a she, um, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Let's see. What else? Um... 
let's see. Uh, these are by default. I don't usually, you know, participate in that default stuff. Sim is interested in, okay. That's fine by me. Is her age right? Young adult. Okay. Now, usually I turn my aging off. I don't know how you guys play. I turn my aging off. Um, I did not go through all this trouble making this awesome Sim only for the game to age her up and kill my character. Yeah, no, nah, I turn aging off. <laughs> I think when we get the new expansion pack, I'm probably going to come back in and give her some of the new clothing items that come with the pack. Because I am pretty sure we're going to get a lot of new clothes. And um, yeah, I want that to happen. Now, let me see. I, did we give her a new outfit? I think we did. Yeah. Okay. So this is her new outfit today. We'll leave it there. I don't want to fill all the categories up, like I said, because I want to add new outfits as we, we play. Or should I say when we get the new pack? So I'm just going to save her here. Oh, I think she's so freaking cute. All right, let me see. Um, let's see. Ready for the new TS4 for rent pack to release all right so i'm going to put her on the gallery and the reason i'm doing that is because if for some reason my game crashes i like to know um i still have a copy of her so let's hit play and we'll see what happens. I hope I did this the right way. I don't know if I kept her with traits because just now I would rather my character be saved with no traits at all. Or should I say not traits, but skills. So I'll double check if she has skills. I'll bring her down and put her back up with no skills. But I think we're okay. We'll see. We shall see. We shall see. I want to go in here right now quickly just to give you guys a tour of Hey Harry's new house. Okay, so I think she has some skills. Oh, no, she didn't. Perfect. Okay, so she has no skills. Good. No job. Good. See that? Perfect. She is ready for the new pack. So she is on the gallery. Feel free to edit her if you want and put her in your game. For me, I save her for, for me. But if you guys wanted her, she's probably not going to look anything like this because of all the custom content that she's wearing. But um, I like to have her on the gallery just in case. I have lost all of my Sims before because my game crashed and I needed not just crash, but like something went wrong with your um, computer. So if you guys have a sim that you really, really care about, you better put her on a flash drive, you know, a, a, a disc separate place, put her somewhere because you might lose your character if you don't upload it to the gallery. Um, let me see. Okay, so let me give you a tour of Harry's new house. This house is gorgeous. I know y'all didn't sign up for this, but this is Harry's new house. Hey, Harry, if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, is a custom content creator. And she made a, a whole set. I think it took her like a whole year to finish it. And... She just recently, I think it was last week, used all of her CC from her packs and from, I think, Felix's packs. Look how cute this house is. Wish it was daytime, but we're going to give it a little tour. Look at this. My girl does not have children, but I wish she did. 
It's impressive, right? She is amazing. I mean, look at this custom content. Look at the little teddy bear. That is too cute. I didn't even see that. That is so cute. And they can play in here. I don't have babies, but if you have babies. So let me show you from top down. That's the second floor. We'll start downstairs. The whole house is full of custom content and she missed no details. She got everything included, okay? So look at this. I love it. It feels so lived in. She made art. Look at the paintings. Should I do this from first person point of view? Let me bring my girl in the house. She's got the custom content doors open. Oh, oh, where's my girl? Hello? There we go. Okay, close the door. Hello door. There we go. All right, so we're gonna take a tour in first person if I can do this properly. And I will give you a grand tour. Let me try to be her height. I think that's about her height. This is a grand tour of Hey Harry's latest creation. So this is the primary bedroom or actually maybe it's your guest room. Maybe I love how the door stays open. Why couldn't EA come up with that? It's been 10 years. Look at this open window. Hello? Why couldn't he? I just don't understand. But here it is. She's got her own light switches and everything, guys. So this is, I want to say, the guest bathroom. Look at this. Oh, the details. And what I love the most is that most of all of her kits, her sets, look at that open window. They all work well together. So it doesn't matter how old a set is. All of her wood tones match. Look at this. She was so proud of this shower because she actually got the animation to work to where the water comes from the ceiling. The water comes from the spout, which is not EA's normal water direction. But she figured out how to do it. And now you can have a rain shower in the game. I mean, I wouldn't want that messing up my hair, but other than that, <laughs> that would be a nice shower, I tell you. All right, so you come in, and that was the guest bedroom. If you go this way, it's a dining room. Look at this, guys. Look, at, and you know what? I can't show it off well enough. You need to go download it because it's different when you when your sim is living in it. It's quite different. I, these are my favorite items. It's her shutters, her 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 blinds, just beautiful. Look at that painting. Wow, such neutral colors. EA, you could learn a thing or two if you just took the time to watch custom content creators. I also like how she uses items from the kits, from the actual game. Look at this. We got kitty litter or kitty food. Maybe some cake mix. I don't know if I want to mix my, my food with my cat food up there. We got appliances that actually work. I don't know if the toaster works. Let me not lie. You love all of this? Girl, it's so nice. And again, some of this is by Felix. So I think it's Felix Ander. Felix Andrew. Is it Felix Ander? I think it's Felix Ander. But if you go on Harry's site, she's always advertising for Felix as well. Look at look at the decor items. EA tries to do it. They just never do it well. Look at this. Just the details, you know. Then we have these lights. This is from one of her older sets. 
Look at this refrigerator. The only thing I wish you could do different with this refrigerator is because we now have the horse pack and you could actually keep wine bottles. I wish she could update this refrigerator to hold your wine bottles. Wouldn't it be awesome if you could age your wine in here? That would be so nice. There you go, Harry, if you needed a tip. I just gave you a good tip for a future item to create. <laughs> um, she has these cabinets that you actually could put things in. Very nice. Look at my girl. She's like, oh, it's so beautiful. Yes, girl, because you wish you had this in real life. You do. You really do. Look at this piano. This is amazing. This is amazing. Look how beautiful. Beautiful details. This is the living room. This is the living room. And that's a TV because contrary to some people's beliefs, Harry actually did create the TV that looks like a painting a long time before the kit came out. So there's that. Look at this. Look at the details. I love that EA is doing a lot more um, clutter and, you know, they're, they're doing a lot better than they used to with giving us things that match. But the custom content creators, I think, will always do it the best. I really do. All right, so let's go upstairs because that's the first floor. Let's go upstairs because let me tell you, this house is very lovely. Now, upstairs, I want to say there's three bedrooms. I want to say there's three bedrooms. Okay, so this is your hallway. Look at this art. Oh, look at this. Beautiful art. All right, so over here, let's go back down the hall. The very first room you come into, right here. <gasps> look at this. Ah! Okay, so it's the, the kids' room. Look at this. So again, Felix did uh, this set or a lot of the pieces from this set. And it is adorable. Look at this. The art is so nice. Yes, the artwork can be used in so many different ways. It's so nice. Look at the frog. Little area over here. You got the little unicorn chair. <clears throat> just beautiful now I want to say this is a bathroom yeah look at it all oh, look at this it's the clutter for me it's the clutter that makes it all look realistic to me oh the freezer bunny let me go back where do we see the freezer bunny I'm sure oh yes look at that freezer bunny right there Yes, indeed. I would love to sit there and read a book. Just pile up the pillows. It's such a dreamy room. So cute. So this is a Jack and Jill bathroom, I believe. So you come in through the girls' room. Look at those decals. Those came from, oh, what did that come from? Was it the high school pack? I'm not sure, but that's EA. EA actually made some nice little stickers to use. So we got this shower. And you come in through the girls' room. But if you go up here, it lets you go into the next child's room. But before we do that, let's go down the hall so you know exactly where we are. Okay, this is your, your girls' room. Which is the room at the end of the hall here. And then we come over here and we go into the second room. And look at that. So you got an upstairs laundry. This is very nice in real life, guys. You don't have to carry your laundry up and down the stairs. That's right. You got a laundry room on the second floor. All right. And then 
Don't forget that room over there and this room right here connect through the bathroom. Look at this baby room. Oh my God, that wallpaper. I love the wallpaper. Look at this. You got the changing table area. She got the ceilings all done right. Because one thing, when the platforms first came out, it was breaking ceilings. But now most people are pretty hip to it. And they know how to get those ceilings to work. Look at this. Lovely changing table. And you step up here to the baby area. There's the freezer bunny again. You can sit here and read a book to the baby. You can feed the baby. And you've got these cute little toys. Now, the only thing that messes it up, I don't know if it's just me, but if this ain't the elephant in the room, <laughs> why couldn't EA give us some plain colors? You know, just a solid pastel yellow, a solid pastel pink, a solid baby blue. You know, I don't mind the colors, but EA, you need to be more prepared, you know? You need to think ahead. Not everybody wants this dang cartoony look. Again, this is the shared bathroom. Okay. So let's go back out. Oh, hello. Your girl done got turned around. All right, let's go back to the nursery. This beautiful nursery. And we will go and look at the primary bedroom at the end of the hall here. Okay, so again, this is where you come up the stairs, right? And your primary bedroom is right here. I love this painting, by the way. Isn't that nice? Double doors lets you know this is your primary bedroom. Whoa, look at it. Look how nice this is. Let me go over here in the corner so you can get a good view. This is so lovely. So remember when I said I was a homebody? Yeah, if I had a fireplace in my bedroom with these big, soft, cushiony chairs, I'd probably never leave my room. <laughs> you just give me this house right with these nice cushiony chairs and i'm just never going downstairs look at this bathroom with a walk-in closet hello what's above the stairs looked very dark i think that's just bad shadows but we can go check it in a moment we will go check it but i think it was just bad shadows you know, we got to deal with EA's game. So, um, this is your primary bathroom. Look at that lovely bathtub with candles. Can you see enjoying a nice bubble bath right there? You got a walk-in closet over there. Look at this. And the view of the boats right out your window. Look at that. So nice. Let's go check out this closet. Look at this walk-in closet, y'all. Look at that. Oh, more beautiful art. And this beautiful walk-in closet. So nice. Got your little changing area. You can sit down, put your pantyhose on. So nice. Soft plushy carpet. Oh, I would never go downstairs. Y'all would have to come and get me out of my room. I'm sorry. I am not coming down unless you have good food. <laughs> I'm not coming down unless you have good food. All right, let's go see if there was something upstairs because I could be wrong. But I think it was a shadow. Yeah. I think that's just a bad shadow from the staircase. So, yeah. Now let's go outside because I want you guys to see. Look at this. Isn't it lovely? 
Isn't it just lovely? I wish the Sims could feel more unique and alive because, oh, I would just be a shadow on the wall just walking through here. I just want to watch my Sims live their best life, you know? Now, through here, I don't know why she put this newspaper down. I, 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 I am trying to figure out why this newspaper is on the floor. Because I didn't find any pet bowls or anything. This is so lovely. So I believe this is for if you want a horse. Yeah, we're going to stop and talk about that for a minute, right? This is Brindleton Bay. But she made it a horse ranch. I don't know. I, I, I can't help you with that. But there is a barn over here with uh, water for your horse. And we got the bags of fertilizer. And you have an area here if you wanted a horse. Um, I'm not exactly sure why she made this for a horse because you're in Brindleton Bay which is not made for horses and I don't know if a horse could fit through here but I'm not going to talk about that that's not my, my I, I, I'm cool one thing I do like is the tree house is out here and I like that it's not built it gives you and your, your character some gameplay so I'm glad she did not build the the house, the doll house or the uh, what do you call it, the tree house. So I like that. And then she put this nice, lovely garden over here. Even put the details. See, it's all about the details for me. It looks so much more. Look at this. I love this part too. I wish EA had given us this. Just these pieces of wood with the toolbox sitting on it because I think that would be nice to use in a lot of different places but again EA I don't think y'all play your own game so you don't think about that because I could use this just to pretend I'm building a house even anyway look at this lovely backyard you can sit here by the fire pit okay we got a lovely barbecue area right here and I'm not sure but I gotta check this I oh no I thought you could drink liquor from these bottles unfortunately you cannot I thought you could oh I was gonna be it that was it <laughs> but I love this little barbecue area now I do want to say oh do I want to say I feel like this table set is from Peacemaker. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this set might be Peacemaker. Let me go into build mode. I, sorry guys, I don't, I don't want to tell a lie. So let me check. Oh, I told a lie. It's the Jardin set, so no. This is also made by by Harry content custom there it is it's right here Jardin so it's Felix Sander Felix Andre I don't know if I'm saying that right guys but you can see who made this particular set everything here I believe is by Harry and Felix she said that's the only custom content she uses anymore. It's her, hers and Felix's. So if you go on YouTube and you find her Harry, she does do a video showing how she made this house. And she has a whole inclusive list of the items that she used. Now I want to argue that there might be a couple of pieces from some old sets that she might have forgot to add. But... To her list but I did go through and go and download them anyway so 
The only thing that I didn't have that was missing is Felix has a set with rugs that she uses. Everything else that you saw in this house is available for free today. So if you wanted to download this house, you can go and get all the sets that she used for free today. However, like I said, there were rugs that she used throughout the house. I think there's like 10 or 12 rugs and they come from a set that Felix created and it's not free yet. So I just replaced the rugs with a different rug that she had in the house. So, but yes, that is the beautiful home by Hey Harry. If you guys want to see it in the daylight, let me just quickly make it daytime. Let me see. I hit tab. Yeah, but then I'm going to lose it. Okay. This is this is uh in the morning. It is a beautiful <clears throat> beautiful addition to your game though. And I also want to say that I do have reshade. So keep in mind it might be uh a different color for you when you see it on the gallery. Or when you put it in your game. I do have reshade on. I guess I could turn it off so you could see the color. Hold on. I have it on cashmere. Okay. So that's off. So this is what it will look like if you don't have reshade. Quite possibly. Which is it's beautiful. I like the color. Uh, I do like my reshade though. <laughs> I'm like, I gotta put my reshade back on, y'all. I'm sorry. Okay. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful lot. Let me see the other. Okay, so there it is in the evening. Very nice. All right, we'll go back in game. But yeah. Let me see. I want to get these. Yes. You know what? If I could only have one content creator, it would be Hey Harry. If I could have two, it would be Hey Harry and most of Felix's items. I don't say all. Girl, that's not going to be your bedroom. I don't say all because some of his stuff I don't think I would ever build with. But most of his stuff, I would. So, I'm about to lock some of these doors. I do not want her accessing. Lock for... Uh, everyone. Lock for... Everyone. Girl, you're not getting on that computer. You are wrong. Let me see. Sign to you. You could just take your butt to sleep, girl. Okay, so I locked this. I locked this. I think I'm going to lock. Oh, I don't think you can lock this. That's the only thing about the open doors. You can't lock them. So you got to you gotta know that going in. I don't think I would just let anybody use this shower. So I'm going to lock this. But I'll leave this guest bathroom functional. And then this computer, I'll turn it off for everybody. Why are you not letting me turn that computer off? Lock computer for everybody. Oh, Lord, who are you, woman? You make the world a better place. Thank you. Aww. I don't know her. <laughs> I think that's one of my mods popping in. 
Now, you know the horrible thing about having mods because the game keeps getting updated is every freaking time we get an update for this game, it breaks the mods. And I really hate that. Um, I almost wish EA would stop updating the game. Like, if they were going to release Sims 5 or Renee, whatever we're calling it, if they were going to release that, like, in a year, I think they should stop updating The Sims 4 and let the modding community just make the game great and stop breaking it with your updates, you know? And, and we can have a whole year with great mods that don't break the game anymore. But because we have a new pack coming out next month, I'm going to have to remove all my mods again and either play without them or not get to enjoy them with the new pack. You know, because they're going to be broken. Oh, look at my girl thinking she's about to go cook. We don't like to cook, but we're about to go cook a salad. What is this moodlet she has? Oh, okay, hold on. So because there is a mod where she just got a compliment in, I guess that was a text message from a total stranger. We don't know anybody, so I don't even know how you get a text message from somebody, but okay. But she got complimented, so she's in a good mood from getting a compliment. So that's a mod, though. Sometimes I don't like, or should I say, I don't mind removing my mods because sometimes, I don't know if this has ever happened to you guys, sometimes I don't know if it's the game or a mod. So I actually get reacquainted with the game when a new expansion comes out because, you know, you're forced to remove your mods. And then I get to see, you know, what's lacking or what actually got added in a patch that they didn't tell us about. Because <laughs> EA will do that. They'll add, sneak something into the game and didn't tell you they added it, which is fun. It can be anyway. But again, I would give all that up if they could stop breaking the game. And please don't do this nasty thing, right? What she just did. Please don't do that to Sims 5. It's so gross. It's so gross. And that again is making every character feel the same. Like I don't mind them doing that if they had like, what's it called? The little nasty, slobby, whatever. If you have like a, a, a sloppy sim, then that would be fine. But my girl is not sloppy. There is no way she would dig in her ear and then go toss this salad and eat it without washing her hands. Just would not have that happen. All right. All right, so... I'm not sure what else you guys would like to see. I have been streaming for two hours. I mainly just wanted to show off my update to my sim self, which I have done. <laughs> and I wanted to show off Hey Harry's lovely new home, which I have done. Look at her. She's going to go enjoy the TV, but I think I'm going to have, um, have her change her outfit. See this right here? I don't want this to be allowed. I know it's convenient, but I would rather she have to go all the way upstairs, have an animation where she is moving the clothes in her closet and pick her outfit for the day. And I don't think she can change outfit. Let's see. Let's put her in this cute outfit right here. I hope that when Sims 5 or Renee, whatever they choose to call it, I hope that when it launches, we are just completely satisfied and completely surprised with how much better it is than Sims 4. I really hope that's going to happen. Watch her not have an animation. See, she just spins. How hard would it have been to have her flip through the clothes a little bit or even pull out a drawer, you know, and look at a shirt or something 
and then change clothes. I don't know. I guess I'm just asking for too much, guys. Asking for too much. I don't know if I can make her pose. That would be so cute if I could. I don't think I can. No, I can't make her pose. And if she does it here, we won't see it. So let's have her come over here and check herself out. And we can look at her cute little outfit. And then I'm going to call it because we've done everything we set out to do. Checking out her new little outfit. Well, that was quick. Uh, freshen up, which is the same thing. <laughs> but that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this stream. And I am looking forward to the new, the new expansion pack. Let me know what you are most looking forward to in the new expansion pack. Are you going to be a landlord right away? Or are you going to be a tenant? I think I'm going to play as landlord. And this is my girl. So y'all get ready to see her because she is going to be knocking at your door asking for that rent check so she can go get her new clothes and her new boots because girlfriend yes she loves new boots and new clothes and, and you know you just got to pay your rent on time all right guys i hope you have a great rest of your day and thank you for stopping by i hope everybody has a good morning good afternoon or good evening whichever time zones you are in Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you.